In today's video, I'm straight up just sitting in my brother's messy room and I'm going to talk about some things that I don't even talk about with my closest friends and I actually have never talked about with my parents. But I get hundreds of comments every two days about how I'm mature for my age or people can't believe I'm 12. And I think that there's a lot more behind that and I kind of just wanted to make a video about it because I feel like I never really, when people are like, how are you so mature? I never really respond in a like a realistic, real way. I'm kind of just like, ha 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 ha. But I wanted to be honest and kind of share what comes along with being mature for your age. Before I get onto the cons or kind of just talk about how I got so mature for my age, I'm just gonna talk about the pros for being mature for your age. The pros are you are allowed to bond with older people. I've always had older siblings, so I'm not saying that I'm like best friends with their friends. I'm able to kind of start up a conversation, just be able to bond with more people of just different age groups. I'm able to be taken seriously. This isn't with every single like atmosphere and environment, but sometimes I am able to be taken seriously. I think this is the biggest pro for me is that I'm able to work on long-term goals because I feel like when you're more mature for your age, you're not thinking about the average things that maybe most seventh graders think about, like drama, their friends, and not that I don't think about my friends, but a lot of times I'm trying to focus on things that I can improve on, like my sports, instruments, YouTube. I'm really trying to improve my life instead of just worrying about other people's the cons this gets really sad um i often feel like i missed a big part of my childhood and this is not my parents fault my parents are immigrants from china and i'm not saying that they weren't able to keep me away from the internet and social media but my mom doesn't know how to like block instagram block youtube from my phone i've always been interested in social media or just things that maybe older kids would be interested in and i have been very influenced by just influencers that i've watched back in the day i remember i watched bethany moto when i was like five I've just been influenced by these influencers for so long and I also had older siblings So I always wanted to do what they did even though there are pros to being mature And I am happy that like I'm the way I am But sometimes when I hear my friends talk about stuff I'm kind of just like it hurts because it just I feel like I missed out on that childhood moment Not saying that I didn't have a childhood because I definitely had a good one I feel like I could have had a longer one This could be a pro or a con but I feel like I'm not that interested in drama as much as I should be Because when my friends are talking about it. I feel like I'm just not as engaged Age as everyone else. That was just some simple pros and cons, but I kind of just want to talk about how I got so mature and kind of just how social media has really affected me. And I'm so thankful for the platform I have. Even if it's smaller, I'm still so thankful for the people that choose to listen to what I have to say and watch my videos. But like social media has been a great place for me to share my opinions and try to make a change. And I definitely think that there are pros to social media. It's just really cool how some people say that I inspire them. It's just like, oh, I can inspire people at such a young age, but they're also also other side effects of social media when it comes to like how it can mentally affect you like a lot of times I forget that I'm just 12 I'm kind of pressuring myself in a way to grow faster I'm just like Annie get to this milestone you want to build the business I always have to remind myself it's like you're still in middle school be grateful for where you are still try to hit more milestones but don't pressure yourself to that's something that I try to drill my brain but it's really hard to keep that there and kind of just remember like you're 12 take it easy have fun since I've grown up watching Nikki and Gabby and people like that and now like Hannah Maloche or other people I'm very influenced by people who are older than me and I think a lot of times when we're watching videos we see these people as our friends or we kind of start acting like they do and I don't think I necessarily mirror one youtuber's behavior completely but I definitely think that over the years I've been influenced by small little things I also feel like being a Christian and just getting close to God at a young age has made me more mature and I'm grateful for that I'm just so grateful to have a personal relationship with God at such a young age without just feeling like oh, I go to church because my parents tell me to go to church. You know what I mean? I know that no matter what cons come to being mature, that this is like who I am and I can't just change it. And yes, pop culture has affected me, but it's not that thing where it's like, oh, I'm ruined. I'm a terrible person because of this. Maybe in some ways being mature for my age might not benefit me, but a lot of you guys, I think, like my personality. And if I wasn't mature for my age, I wouldn't have the same personality. I can be insecure about being mature for my age and I can be not insecure about it in different circumstances but I think in the end it's just who I am and I like have to learn to accept it and I have been able to accept it more but it's just hard you know when I make these videos like commentary videos or when I talk about my race or body size I promise these are not things that I think about every single morning I don't look in the mirror and be like you're mature for your age you're not that skinny you're you're Asian I don't I don't think that but when I do sit down and think about it just everything comes out which is one of the things that I really dislike about myself like once I start ranting all the emotions like new ideas 
emotions or feelings form into my head that I didn't even think before. Everything is kind of just flowing out, so I promise I'm like not this negative, but I don't make these videos with a negative intent. I kind of just want to make them so you guys can just get to know me better, and I think that these videos give a more personal spin on my channel, and I just really hope that these videos can inspire someone. I have learned to accept my maturity for what it is. I mean, I don't think I'm necessarily mature in a bad way. I mean, I'm not Daniel Cohn. I don't know. I'm so thankful for the platform I have on YouTube, but there have just been some times where like I'm just in a rut and YouTube plays a really big part in just how I'm feeling mentally. YouTube doesn't really make me sad very often, but there are just some times where just the pressures of it are just wanting to grow your channel so bad that it just messes with your brain, which is why I think that YouTube can be harmful for kids. And it's a really hard situation because I would never undo getting into YouTube at such a young age, but if I had a child, I do not think that I would let them start a YouTube channel at the age eight not saying that my parents did anything wrong because as I told you they're immigrants I don't think they really knew anything about the website how to block these things on my phone my mom tried to get me to stop my YouTube channel like a few years ago and that just didn't work but my dad has always been super supportive and he's like don't ruin her dream but I don't think I'd have let my kid in the future do that but at the same time if I didn't start at that age I don't think that I'd be where I am today I just think that everything happens for a reason and some people are immature for the age for a reason because then they can bond with younger kids and make a difference in their lives you know everyone is different and if you're just right for your age then perfect we just are who we are i hope this video inspired you guys or if you can relate to me that'd be great we can relate to each other in the comments down below i'm not telling you guys to stop saying these comments like you're so mature for your age but if you want to comment them then sure i'll just hurt your comment or whatever but i think that after making this video kind of put out how i am so mature for my age or a lot of people have asked me like can you make a video on how you're so mature for my age and it's not a tutorial like i don't think when I'm in a room like oh how can I act more mature I think it just comes to me naturally you can still comment those comments but I just wanted to make this video to kind of clear things up about how mature for my age if you've ever felt insecure about your age immature or too mature I swear your maturity will come to your advantage in some ways and you will make a difference on this earth so that's all I have to say in this video it's kind of a deep one and I'll see you guys in the next one and if this video gets to 4,000 likes I will make another commentary video